I'm Siu Feng Long. I'm a genderqueer. I'm also a bodybuilder. A genderqueer means um, I'm biologically uh, female. I'm socially male, but I also compete as a female bodybuilder. For someone who doesn't really know about genderqueer, so my very basic uh, definition would be um, someone who do not identify himself or herself within the gender binary of male or female. And there are different types of genderqueer. So there are some people who would identify themselves both as female and male. Some of them would identify themselves as sometimes a female, sometimes a male, depends on the context. And for me, I'm the later type of genderqueer in which I identify myself neither male nor female. I chose bodybuilding because it is one of the sports that really uh, works on the whole body. It emphasizes so much on the uh, body and mind connection. I took part in female competitions because of several reasons. One of the practi more practical reasons is that I'm legally female. Another reason is because in the bodybuilding culture, uh, they're still quite conservative towards uh, your biological gender and uh, you know the, the, the categories that you are participating. Most of the time, socially, I'm, a, I'm more I exist more like a male, but when I compete on, on stage, I also enjoy you know, doing all this makeup, you know, with, you know, playing with my hair. I think um, gender is more like a performance. It's very performative. I think it is uh, quite challenging to be a genderqueer in Hong Kong because there's a lack of understanding of like, genderqueer or even like, transgender, LGBT issues in, of a lot of Hong Kong people. And sometimes it's hard to to let them think outside the box, especially the older generation, to understand you know, what transgender would mean or genderqueer or what people who are different would mean. Several years ago, people did not even talk about transgender, but then now people are starting to talk about you know, all these like, um, possibilities of gender mobility or gender possibilities. It takes a long time for me to really understand who I am. My father told me if there's not a path, then walk it, you know, make it, you know, make a path for someone behind you that they can also you know, walk the same way and in a more easy, in an easier way. That is what I want to tell to people who are watching in this video. Be yourself, um, be brave of who you are, and if there's not a path, then make your own path. Yeah.